Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles and I'm here with... Camera Guy Kurt. With? Olympus Reptiles. That's right. And we're here for another exciting episode of the Olympus Reptiles News. It's something we haven't done in a long time and we really miss and we're really happy to be back here bringing you some other channels for you to go find some new stuff to watch maybe you haven't seen before. Uh, so do, do you want to go first? Um, sure, I'll go first. Um, okay. Trig Reptiles has a video and they went to the dark side. To the dark side? Yeah, they are doing darker morphs. I don't know, it's kind of a trend. People are, you know, doing dark snakes instead of light, bright, happy pink ones. So instead of light, bright, happy pink ones, Darth Vader is her father, and we're doing the dark side stuff now. Yes. Actually, I think that's kind of cool because we're trying to do some dark things ourselves. So go check that out for sure. Look at how black this girl is. It's got another paradox right there. And it's got that big ringer right there. Well, you know who I watched? I watched Brian Gundy. And, and Brian Gundy, are you, are you with me here? Are you paying attention? Yeah, I'm just a okay, just, little, little distracted. That's all right. I watched Brian Gundy, and Brian Gundy was showing us how to catch a wild snake. And with catching that wild snake, how to do that and not get bit at all. So it's really cool. He goes through, he talks a lot about the head and how to avoid being bit by uh, watching the head and not making the snake nervous. It's been years since I've been bit by a wild snake, and, and I just caught this really nice co coastal garter snake. really don't want to mess with its head. That's really the key. It's all about keeping this snake as calm as possible. Are you, are you ready? Are you, are you here? Oh, yeah. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Go, go ahead. Um, so have you ever had this, like a bad week where just nothing's going Right, you're oh. just kind of exhausted. I, I have. It's usually my partner doesn't pay attention in videos, but yeah, yeah, I have. <laughs> oh, well, um, you ever heard it called a uh, frumpy, like a frumpy Friday, just just grumpy I, and it's just a Friday. And... I've heard of hangry and fung fungry, but I've never heard of frumpy. Well, you should check out Brian um, Cus Cusco Cusco or Cus Cuskico, I don't know. <laughs> just check out Brian. It's in the description. His video's in the description, but just check out his frumpy Friday. So Brian's having a, we know we love Brian, he's having a Frumpy Friday. Maybe he'll cheer himself up. Welcome to Frumpy Friday. It's not Friday, but I'm frumpy enough to turn any day into an F day. Frump. Yeah. So I, I think what happened is I frumped just a little too hard at the lake yesterday. No, 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 no. Not, not inebriated, just frumped super hard. And it frumped me up. Well, let me tell you about who I watched recently. I got a chance to watch Balls to You, and I love watching Balls to You. You know, he's got that British accent. He, uh, where are you going? Just keep going. What? What keep the going. hell? So apparently I am on my own now. My partner just left. I, guys, I have no, I apologize. What is it to keep the news rolling? Apparently it's a solo man show now. So I got to watch Balls to You, and Balls to You is doing an entire video about having a ramp. He's outside, he's angry about egg cutting and everything else, but it really is, it's kind of the friendliest rant that I've ever seen. Uh, so go check that out, check out Balls to You, give that a watch, and see if you can tell if he's actually angry in that rant, or if he's just kind of way too happy-go-lucky, I don't know. It's kind of, kind of nuts. When I rant, I scream and cuss, and he's just like, guys, let me tell you this, and I'm not gonna put up with bullies, Yada, yada, yada. Just such an interesting thing. ...are attacking or bullying people for cutting eggs. And I, I don't get it. Myself, I cut eggs. I always have. And I have had great, great success. Well, as you can see, I'm still by myself. Uh, I don't know where Kurt went. But I also got a chance to watch Pride of Texas Pythons. And I really recommend you watching his vid... Hey, you're... You're yeah, back. I just had to take care of something. Okay. Okay, well, uh, he's back, everybody. That's good. I brought uh, you some treats, too. Oh, great. Awesome. I love a good snack. So, like I was saying, now that you're back, is we had a chance to watch, or I had a chance to watch Pride of Texas Pythons, and you really should check out their clutch update because you'll get to see a future Olympus Reptile snake. I'm really excited about that. So, where are they from? Well, they're from Texas. Oh, Texas? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of in the title, yeah. you know. But it's a big place. Texas. Yeah. Not as big as Alaska. That's right, Texas. Number two, Alaska's bigger. They've all come out of the eggs. And uh, what we're going to do now is give them a nice wash. 
sex with them, show them to y'all, show off what we got. So, um, you know, like breeding and stuff, it happens. It does happen. And, you know, sometimes, you know, they don't like to show it on YouTube and stuff. Well, but, there's certain kinds of breeding. I don't think YouTube lets us show up. No. There's community guidelines in but this place. I watched uh, Family Jewels, mm -hmm. and they showed their retics breeding. So if you want to see some retics breeding, check out this video. I watched as many pins come out and try to go in. See? He's upside down and everything. Well, that's pretty cool. So family jewels for retic breeding. Yep. Well, another one I watch is we've always watched a lot of Going Youper, and you should check Going Youper out because I think Going Youper goes on more of a rant almost than a rant video with Balls to You. Balls to You is so nice. Uh, Going Youper actually gives you a warning. He gives you a warning about live feeding uh, and about if you don't want to watch or not just live feeding, just feeding in general. But this is his one warning, one he's ever going to give for any video he makes all time. So go watch it, get your one warning, and then there's no complaining if you see going you per feed something. I'm not gonna excuse every time I do a feeding video. It is a reptile channel for the most part, and there is going to be feedings in my videos. And I really hate telling everybody, okay, watch out, it's gonna be a warning. Hey, listen, if you're interested in snakes and you're watching my channel, then learn everything about them, not just pick and choose what you like about them. Should we do that? Just a one warning to fit them all? Um, I don't know. <laughs> well, what else do you have for me? Well, um, this is kind of an educational one. Uh, Ball Python 101 has a snake that still has its umbilicus attached to, its, uh, to the, the egg, and he shows you how to remove that so the snake doesn't have any complications and dies. Oh, well, that is really helpful. But we are going to intervene and try and save the snake's life, barely hanging on by this little tiny thread right here. The goal is to tie this off so the snake does not bleed out. So I also got a chance to watch Reach Out Reptiles. And I really like Reach Out Reptiles. He's a really intelligent guy. He's been in the hobby for a long time. But in this case, he is hanging out with a lot of people, showing a lot of snakes, and they uh, actually want to show some support for Betsy Ross. So make sure and watch Reach Out Let Reptiles. Reach out, reach around, it's reach out, right? Reach out reptiles. Reach out, not reach around. Reach out reptiles and check out the support for Betsy Ross. Her name is Betsy Ross, said. right? Okay. Is that Betsy Ross? I think so, right? That is Betsy Ross. Okay. What's I your? Have, I have no control of my legs. Well, that's all I got. Do you have anything else? Nope, I think that's all I got. Everything I needed to do done. Everything <laughs> you need to do done. Let's eat a snack and say, guys, we'll see you next week.